All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. It is time for a review of this guy I've been carrying a lot. Uh, this is the Winter Blade Co. Factor 8. They made it bigger. They took a hugely successful knife, made it bigger, and even better, in my opinion. So stick around. Let's talk about that. These drop on the 23rd at winterbladeco.com at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And they, even though it's a large order, it sounds like, I bet they will go quick. These are done by Best Tech and they are done beautifully. There are aluminum versions like what you see here. And there are titanium versions uh, like you don't see here. But <laughs> these are great. Now you do have a reversible clip. You have flat scales with awesome uh, chamfering and milling, which just makes it look cool. You got this Awesome backspacer here with jimping on it. Uh, no lanyard post uh, that I can see. Wait a minute. Nope, nope, no lanyard post. Now, uh, Brian did make some changes to the to the original design. By the way, guys, I met Brian at Blade Show. What a nice guy, and what a stinking wizard. I mean, this thing is crazy. The other two I had in are crazy. Hopefully, you've seen those videos. Now, this is operated with a hole. Uh, so you have a hole deployment either with uh, your middle finger or your thumb. Uh, and then it is act activated, locked uh, by a magnetic lock, the M lock, I believe we call this. Uh, mag here, winter blade here. And um, let's see, where's our steel mark on this one? I know it's here. I've seen it. I know I have. Okay, well, I'll tell you what the steel is in a minute because I thought it was on the blade, but it's not. But really beautiful. This red is beautiful. Now, you do have, uh, you can see down in there, you have four magnets this time around. I believe the original had two. Uh, this is what he's calling the quad mag system, I believe. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. I'm going to read it from his words because it'll be smarter. Uh, now, I remember having some issues on the original one. You can go check out my review deploying it using this tab because it's and part of that was it was shorter so choking back like that it felt like I didn't have good grip on the knife with this one being bigger it's very easy to operate that as you can see just bam uh pops out no problem your blade is completely covered there by this so just put your finger straight down and pushes the blade out you do have a full on choil here four finger grip plenty of room to either go on the flat here or on the choil i prefer the flat like this no jimping but i don't really need it locked up like a rock like a rock it is fantastic uh really well done uh and again feels great in the hand you don't really feel that clip i like any of the grips on this thing beautiful blade now i would call this one a little more sheep's footy you do have Kind of a little uptick to the blade. It's not really a rounded belly. It's more a kind of, um, you know, kind of straight, uh, if you will. Uh, cutting wise, if you don't try to cut with the uh, with the sharpening tool, this is a very thick piece of cardboard, by the way. That's twice I've tried to cut with the sharpening choil. But you can see, definitely a fantastic cutter. Good blade shape. Plenty of room to go all the way through a cut. As you can see, not a problem there whatsoever. Really nice uh, indeed. Let me open up uh, the laptop here so that I can uh, give you that information I was trying to give you on the blade because I have totally drawn... Uh, a blank entirely. So it is, uh, let's go ahead and just do the specs real quick. Overall blade link 2.75, edge link 2.75. Wait a minute. I know that's not right. I am giving you the info from the M fire because I was just doing a video on that. Okay. Overall blade link three and a half. That's more like it. Uh, blade length, actual sharpened blade link three inches. Handle length five inches overall is 8.4. So that means if we put out our Rat 1, it's going to be about the same size as the Rat 1 and quite a bit bigger than the Rat 2. Check that out. Very, very cool. I wish I had an original factor uh, to show you the, the size difference, but I don't. Um, and that's fine. Uh, handle thickness, four, uh, 0.475. So Good size. It is a taller handle, 
but it feels good weight. 5.8 with the titanium, 4.8 on the aluminum. So to me, this aluminum feels really great. It is on bearings. Um, so let's go up here. By the way, DLC coated Magna Cut blade. There you go. Uh, Ferrari red anodized, 7075 aircraft scales, um, P PVD coated clip, PVD coated hardware, and backspacer. Got to love it. Very, very nice. Now, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to read about this knife uh, from Brian's point of view just because he's way smarter. Um, so it's the long awaited XL version of the Factor. Um, and they could have just stretched it out, but he decided to make some changes. So they redesigned the Factor 8 from the ground up. Most advanced factor to date. Um, the 8 features exciting new quad magnet detent system and combines with the new improved titanium flip lever um, deployment mechanism to give the 8 exceptional crisp, snappy action. Um, it also has the M-Lock Plus, which is the improved magnet-driven blade lock uh, for hand and uh, improved handle geometry and everything. So, really cool stuff. Now, the aluminum versions are going to run uh, $350, and uh, the titanium version is going to run $425. For what you're getting in a Best Tech build, I actually don't think that's a bad deal at all. Now, um, again, you can see your magnets are what hold and give you a detent here. So you definitely have a good detent. It's not, you know, super crisp, uh, but it is good for sure. And you can see if you can time it right, which I'm terrible at, uh, that is not the nice fault. It is my fault. You can flick this down and get a real rhythm going. Again, the bounce back is also my fault of timing everything, but you can see there it works really, really well. And again, you've got the second or even third deployment method, if you account uh, the thumb flick. It does come way out to the end. It is dead centered, uh, like his knives are. Very, very cool. So again, uh, 350 for this guy, 425 for the titanium. There are several versions. I will have the link uh, down below for sure. Now, uh, we also had, just for, uh, for comparison sake, uh, here is the M fire that I just did a video on yesterday. So there's that. And here is the Veyron, uh, which is going to be closer to that size. So there is the family photo. All three of these are dropping on the 23rd at 8 p.m. Eastern. I will have links down below so you can check them out. I did it again. Nice. If you didn't watch yesterday's video, you don't understand that reference, uh, but that's okay. So again, um, I love the loved the original factor. Uh, now, I will say a lot of you uh, have commented that there's not. All right, I'm going to be quiet for a second. As much of a ting, you can hear it, though. Hear the ting um, on this one as there was on the original. And I would actually agree. It's a little. The original one I had made a distinct ting. Uh, this one is still there. Uh, again, you could see there, once I finally got my brain wrapped around it, um, you can get into a real rhythm with the fidgetiness, um, on this guy. So thank you, Brian, for sending this out. Um, and again, I've been carrying it guys. Some people said it looked too big for carry. No way, dude. Uh, now it does have a little bit sticking out, but it carries very slim. I carried this to church this morning. Uh, no problem whatsoever. I've carried it working with it. Um, no problem. I, I think this is a fantastic choice for a work knife. Now, some of you, you know, you may want to consider if you work in a place with a bunch of metal shavings and stuff, I would assume, you know, you could get them caught on uh, the magnets. But for the rest of us, breaking down boxes, doing whatever it is we have to do, uh, this thing is incredible. And Brian is an absolute wizard. I mean, he just... He's the wizard of knives. And guys, he's putting three knives out at once so that he can get more knives, more designs out sooner. Uh, so he's got some crazy stuff that I saw at Blade Show coming your way. Uh, and I cannot wait uh, to see those. It should be incredible. So like, 
comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let me know what you think of this one. And thank you guys so much for your support and for watching the Knives Fast channel.